Welcome to Go Market Update and Charts today. It's the 16th of November 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets today as we move through the Asian session. Of course, across the news, we saw a mildly positive session for US equities overnight. Markets struggled a little bit to follow through with conviction after the previous day's rally. Primarily, I think, because most indices are near technical levels to the upside. Uh, President Biden and she had meetings today and speeches subsequently didn't move markets very much. We are seeing the US futures just below neutral today. And Asian markets were pretty mixed early on, but seem to have just pulled back during the course of the session. ASX is down around 0.7% after higher than last month's inflation expectations number and improves jobs data, which gives a green light to the RBA if they wanted to raise rates in December. We saw the VIX weaker overnight on equity strength and at seven week lows. The US dollar index bounced off the 200 EMA after a previous day's drop. Gold paused after that V-shaped bounce we reported yesterday. And copper looks interesting. It's moved back towards the top of a medium term trading range last night, but just a little paused in Asia today. All continues to pull back overnight and throughout the Asian session has done likewise, remains close to mid-July levels. Wouldn't be surprised to see a breach of that. And Bitcoin has surged again to 18-month highs and is certainly worth watching. On the data front, not much going on today, apart from when we hit the US tonight. We've got US weekly jobs and manufacturing numbers, the data highlights. Of course, we did have that Australian data out this morning. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. On the ASX, we're liking the look of Lendlease Corp. And you can see there, a ticket code LLC. We have had a move up through 650, which created this double bottom and a confirmation following through. We like this as a level at 667, simply because it was a support on the way down and this downward trend channel it was in. It looks as though we break into the upside of that. Could see this up to $7 pretty quickly if this momentum continues that has been in place over the last few days. On the FX front, the GB pound Australian dollar is looking interesting on the hourly chart. You can see we've had a fairly weak day on the Australian dollar in the Asian session, possibly a move up to 192.12, which would be around about 60 pips up from where we are now. This looks interesting. We may have paused just a little bit here, so it might be the European session, which kicks this on further if it is going to do so. So one worth watching without a doubt you can see that 200 ma on this hourly chart as well it may be that the markets are keeping an eye on that uh, as it's failed to breach it in the last three hours if we look at the candles trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now